good day and thank you for subscribing and joining and looking at chosen one tv all right so we are constantly replying to your cry so teachers you have asked and we are responding how do you set up and send an assignment for your students quite simple quite simple so let's choose a class i'm going to choose my 1v2 class and if you notice this plus here yeah plus some might call it an addition sign same thing you click on that and it says create assignment you give your assignment a title so uh let me see what's sending them again right internet whoa internet safety cross word it's crossword one word anyhow crossword puzzle instructions review hmm oh, spelling wrong there review the the attach document and submit your an answers submit your answers in short form for example for example across question two could be written as a two And the answer Dong Question One could be written as D one and the and and the answer right now for you to get an understanding of what i did here well the instructions you know um in yeah the what i'm doing here is uh internet safety crossword so you know crossword across and down right so you see dong one instead of uh, dong dong yeah d1 equal the answer um a3 equal whatever a5 equal whatever and the equal being the answer and so on and then they go to d1 is this and so on so they will review it virtually and then submit so that's what we're talking about now i need to attach that document and it's right here click on internet safety and I would have attached my file, I have my instructions, I have my assignment title, and then now, I click on assign. So, it's already assigned to 1B2, I'm giving all my form ones this. So I'm gonna select 1G, I'm gonna select 1B1, I'm gonna select 1S1 and I'm gonna select my last form one class or grade nine class 1S2. Due date, um, let me see, I can give them up to, this is nice and simple. The minister did say give enough time so I can give them up to the, uh, the first, that's up to next week, Friday at 
5 p.m. And I'm going to leave it open. I'm going to leave it open. This option here, you can lock after due date. So when it reach the 1st of May, 5 p.m., it will lock up and they have no access to it. Yeah, I'm going to leave it open still. And I click on Assign. Now, the reason why we did it this way instead of just doing a regular post and, and um, attaching a file is that the students will be able to submit this right in the post here. If you did it as a regular post, they would have to attach the answers on the post and then everybody would see the answer. Now, what's your student, what's your student in? Right? What's your student in? So, remember, I, I just um, set up my assignment. So, the student in now is seeing this. So, they saw my post from Dr. Antoine. Um, they will open it. Internet safety. Yeah. They will see this and review the attached document and submit this, this, this. The instruction is nice. They will click on the attachment and then they will open it and review. And then for the answer now, they could do it on a Word document or they could create a Word document right here. Or even simple, a text response. Yeah? And they could say, listen, well, A... A2 is, let's say, CPU. A5 is ALU. Then they could say, listen, D1 is Microsoft, etc. right? And when they would have finished that, they would have, oh, well, let me show you the next example example they could also create um a word document and here the word document would have come right here in your web browser and they could have submitted right so then they click on when they finish they click on turn in assignment is listen are you ready to turn in as your assignment yes i click on turn in assignment yeah and nice and simple now let's 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 watch 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 on my end now which on my end. So on the teacher end, Johnny Joe submitted on the teacher end. Yeah. So I see I review his his answer, his answers that is, yeah. And I put this score, so I know it have, let's say, 10 questions there. Johnny did three, and he got all three correct. So I put three out of 10, and I save that. I could also add a comment. I could have said, Johnny, you could have done all the questions. And add add my comment. Save. Yeah, and Johnny would see that. Now, when I can also see um, those who turn in, like those who didn't turn in, um, who got graded, um, and of course all the students, because remember I added to all the different. Uh, forms and so on, but it would it would still section it out by the different form for me, so it's not confusing. I can still see it by the different form or the different class, wherever you see it, wherever you're from. Yeah, and and that is it. Let's let's go back to on Johnny N and see. Um, now remember, I said I could I could if I decide to change my mind, I could always. Lock. So if I said 
I realized that, hey, they're playing and so on. I could say, watch, you know what? I'm going to lock my assignment. I give them some reminder. I said, hey, you would no longer have access to the assignment after the due date. And I just come here and I select that option. Watch Johnny's end now. Right? Johnny will see a notification. Yeah? And Johnny sees it's three out of... It's three out of ten for his um, for his uh, assignment there. Yeah. So Johnny sees that he got three out of ten, and he sees um. Where's my comment? Right, Johnny, you could have done all the questions. Um, he has the option to resubmit. And I also have the option to uh, submit a re submit a request for him to is here request resubmission. Yes, so I can say Johnny whatever whatever, and then click on this, and it will allow him to submit. Yeah, so that's how you do. So if your if your assignment is not like a quiz and so on that you set up, this is how you do it so that the student can just drop it in there and they don't have to necessarily send you a message with an attached file. So this is more nice and organized. So that's how you send an assignment the proper way to your students. Again, thanks for watching. If you have not yet subscribed, subscribe to the channel. Don't be selfish. If somebody is in need of this video, send it to them. You understand? Yeah, send it to them. Great. Thanks again.